So this week's video, performance test, leading manufacturers. There's only a few in it. Full disclaimer, haven't been paid to do this as a review. However, I have contacted uh, IceCap E to be able to get this machine and they've sent it to me so that I can test it and then send it back out. But it is only a performance test. It is not a review of the machine because this is prototype that they've sent me, demo unit. I have sent it back to them so I no longer have it. No affiliated links, uh, no sponsorship deals, none of that stuff. And whatever you do, this material that you're about to watch is a representation of a test. Do not follow any of this as a procedure to freeze pipes. It is not, yeah? Make that clear. You do your own testing and your own research on how these things work and get comfortable before you use these machines. Otherwise, you can get into a lot of trouble very quickly. Enjoy the video. Right guys, this is going to be a tool review, but it's also going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to be making something with some of these tools. Build a test rig. I thought it would kill two birds with one stone. These are parallel grips and the way they work is when you put it on the nut, it's clamping the two parallel square faces. And so it shouldn't, in theory, round off the corners. I've had them a while. There are some sharp edges I found on these, but other than that, typical Nipex quality. I've got quite large hands, and I seem to be able to get a hold of these in most positions. However, when you're adjusting these, so for instance, that's a miss. Now, if you click one more, yeah, just one, that's just on the limit of getting it there, where I want the hand closed. They go from one extreme to the other. Now my hands are wide open, and that's putting an awful lot of stress. And I know you're thinking, I'll oh, just get over it. When you're doing this day in, day out, particularly strenuous, get them in the right place for the job. They, you know, you'll get them in one place. Oh my gosh, it's too wide. Well, here you go. Nipex. Here we go. I've already got into a, see what I mean? You can get them in a half position where they're not quite, and then they, I don't know. However, I've got a smaller set of these, and I like them an awful lot better than the larger set, so. 250, dyslexic me. Great for doing chrome, fantastic. I got these the other day. So these are Barco, these are a little bit different ratchet spanners, and we've all seen those. The difference is this, you turn them over, there's another set on the other side, nine and 11 and the other eight and 10. So in actual fact here, you've got from eight millimeters all the way up to 19 millimeters in three spanners. Space saving amount of gear you wanna take in, hey, it's three spanners, aluminum, the shafts and that. And when the nut goes in, so they'll stop halfway forward and a reverse motion on this, so one way, clearly. 12 point teeth there, be able to move it in a tight space. Tesla ton, they do 15 by 32 and 15 by 22. It's a dry ton dish. Can't, oh yes I can. Water comes through there from the PRV. There's a sealed, so it allows the volume of water through and out the other side you can go to 32 mil inch and a quarter full requirements for um, ton dishes for hot water cylinders so great way of you um, large volumes of water out of it uh, without any creation of um, backing up as long as you use heat resistant that's good to go being able to stop smells from coming back into the property so yeah so uh, looks like a great product. Let's see if I can get it back together without breaking it, shall we? Put it in there. So that's it there. Looking forward to using that, as I say. Two tools by Nerad. This is the Versa Funnel. So it's a piece of aluminium rubber coat and it's moldable. So you can mold it into different positions and you can take fluids and move them away from particular components, electrical, radiator valves, things like that, pumps in particular boilers. I love this piece of equipment. It's simple and it rolls up so you can put it in your toolbox. I got this at the show installer, twin, twin pack of NARAD tools. 
and this is 15 mil and 22 mil. Just stop the water while you're doing some work, put in a lever valve. This will go through a full bore lever. So this goes through, you then hold this and anti-clockwise turn it. Yep, that's it. Forms a really, really solid seal. I almost was going to make one myself. 15 mil, 22 mil. Bought one of these. I thought I would never buy one of these. I suffer with tennis elbow Milwaukee pipe slices until I try it out. Um, you've got a cut, a cut action there, middle action there, um, locks the last action, centers it all the way to the right. Well, let's cut it. Clean there. Clearly you don't want to be sticking your fingers anywhere close to it. It's a luxury. These are on special offer at Screw, Screw Fix. £120 with the charger, with everything. So that's why I bought it. Save my arm. Hopefully I can do more videos and stuff like that. rig up this and this is going to be three quarter mains coming in section 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 and we'll just have these coming off and these will be the test points so we'll cut one two three so there's number one that's number two seems to do the job putting this together and I had a comment the other I'm about what I know use one of these. Well, you can see here, yeah, a bit baggy, isn't it? Yeah. All right, next. So that's our first bit. So, and then we'll just have these three coming off here. So now it's just these three valves. To... The idea here is that I'm gonna see what I mean. Oh, I don't bother. The idea is that I'll be able to bleed out the walk, the air into the, out of each one and also to be able to tell you whether or not it's frozen. And if it hasn't frozen, I guess we could give it a bit longer and see if that allows it to freeze. But I've never done a, a proper conclusive test like this. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. This is the Rothenberg Eco Freeze, my own personal one. Had it for over 10 years. Got the inserts, two clamp heads, paste, controls, fairly straightforward. On heat, freeze, various different sizes. And then you've got the big brother, which is the Rothenberg Rofrost Turbo. This comes with the same paste insert adapters, slightly different, basic on off switch, instructions, sizes of pipes, steel case, two clamp heads, refrigerant style, and then you've got the new contender, the ice cap E, two clamp heads, 28mm, 22mm, various adapters, so let's see how these perform so this is our test rig and the idea is that the cold incoming mains comes across here tees off and what I've done is I bled each one of these so each one of these has been bled through so I know there's no air in the test is going to be one on one end one on the other we will freeze in pairs I'll do each one individually how long it takes and if the freeze is complete the second one will be kind of like a test to see when i think that it's actually frozen brand new pot yeah two clamp heads on press the start turn on oh wrong one turn eight two minutes in Yep, getting cold, getting super cold. 
This typically takes on the eco freeze a little bit of time. 22 mil is its maximum capacity, however, I have done 28. This is what I typically do with my eco freeze. So I'll normally just fire a tiny bit of water just in there, just to help it create. And I'm going to do it with all of them, just because I want these to perform to their best. We've got a nice frozen section there. So we're at 12 odd minutes. Okay, so this is showing minus eight at the moment. Still got a bit more to go. I need at least 10. I'm just gonna leave this running just so you can hear when this bleeps. It's a good bond, not expecting that to be frozen there. I'll be super impressed because this is a warm day, but I'll leave that one on. Just turn it on normally and just walk away. This is 10 years old, this machine. It's non minus nine. It feels warm on the sides. Only one. I don't know this much, I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> what do you think? That's a good freeze on that. Okay, we're in double figures, minus 10, minus nine. It's just shifted back to minus nine at 22 and a bit minutes. Normally, when I'm on a job, that's almost 40 odd minutes. Minus 10, I'm sticking at minus 10 now. Maybe it's 25 on this, I don't remember. That's got a good freeze on that and that done on this setup is I've tried to keep them as far away as possible the reason being is that one could influence the other uh, we've got minus 10 stable minus 11 I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can okay that's a good freeze that's a good freeze right you ready maybe it's 25 minutes oh, I so want to open that I open this. Well, I'm gonna do it. Yep, done. Frozen at 26 minutes. Okay. Now watch this. There you go. There's one. 27 minutes. We're undone and everything. That's the Rothenberg, 26 minutes, you're frozen, and, well, 27 minutes, and you've defrosted. All right. So what I'm gonna do before reach one is I'm gonna flush them through. Rofrost Turbo 28, here we go reference it's showing in there half i used one of these about 20 odd years ago maybe 30. there was one lingering memory with it it was heavy what i don't get is why they never created a nicer transition a way for these to come out why didn't they make a gate or something for this to come out got a little temperature gauge on there just under 20 degrees in here. When you do 28 mil, don't need any inserts, you just go straight onto it. 22. Uh, if I'm right, that just goes onto there. So we'll just put a bit of paste on here. That's the way I've got it, which I'm pretty sure is correct. And the same on there. So it shows you 22. Yep. Start. robust it's very heavy it's been very kindly lent to me by one of the subscribers Sam big thank you Sam about a year old no more than that so this would need a service essentially you top up this every now and again with cold water that's very cold very quickly so we're three odd minutes in what I notice about this incredibly quick that's the first thing to get a frost on here but what's interesting so they're only making contact on half of the pipe wow look at that three degrees sounds like a song four odd minutes so all of this is clearly 22 mil 28 mil at the end and 15 at the top we'll do a check on the 15 and we'll do a check on the 28. Five minutes in. Yeah. We're at minus two. 
Hope you guys are enjoying this. It's just an overview of all of these freezing machines. I'm not sure how much these are. Uh, the chap that bought this told me it was 800 odd pounds. However, he did say it had dropped in price. Uh, that machine over there was 450, I think, 10 years ago. This is a demo version. It's not the finished article. 639 in. All right, doctor. I can't believe it. This one's already showing almost minus 10. I'm gonna, seven minutes, I'm gonna try it. What the hell? No, it hasn't frozen. I'm pushing it, okay, guys? We're leaving that one alone. This is to see what's going on. That's on eight minutes. Do we test it? We'll test this one again. No. Well, you'd, you would expect it not to be frozen. I'm gonna give this can hear it creaking and cracking. I'm gonna give that till, I'm gonna give it exactly 10 minutes. I'm worried that my phone's gonna get soaked. If it does, did you hear it? I think that's done. Do I have to redo it if it doesn't work? I just fancy testing this. There you go, frozen, 9.25, 9.25. I think that's going to take some beating. Two odd minutes in. Shit, my coffee. Okay, so that's minus three. So this head I've had to clamp together with this to try and get this test done. So a bit of a helping hand where I can. Six minutes in, minus four. So we're getting there. It's not enough for me. It's getting there, but not, not yet. With nine minutes in, we've got minus five point. Thirteen minutes in, and we've got minus six odd degrees. Definitely nice and cold on that side. Definitely cold there. Coming along nice, almost eight. Now 9.8, 9.9. .9. I'm gonna to have to be honest and say that that one doesn't look too far away at all. Definitely got a nice freeze on it. Okay, so we've got 23 and we've got 10.9. There you go, frozen. 23 minutes. Clearly you can defrost as well, so, so now we're going to see how long it takes for these to... There you go, first hit. Okay. 24 minutes, frozen, reef, defrosted. Big boy test, 28 mil, two of them start. And we got 20 degrees thereabouts. Five minutes in, below freezing. Powerful machine because you haven't even got this surface contact area here. That's powerful. That's at minus 10 at eight minutes. I'm tempted to test one on. Got to test one for you guys? I think I'm gonna give that nine minutes. Let's just stick with the 10 minute. That's still incredibly fast. 10 minutes on 28 mil, nine and a half minutes. 10 minutes in, check this one. Yep, we are frozen. 10 minutes, 28 mil, frozen. Don't believe me? Frozen. 28 mil, 10 minutes, smashed it. Minus 15, come on. Okay, so let's test this puppy out. Even frozen there, look. Yeah. Look at that. Let's push it all the way out, shall we? I 
just unfreeze it a little bit you'll see the extent of what this these machines have to do so it's it's not like it's super easy for these things this is pretty hard work no nope, can't do it for that this will do there you go that's what it's created yeah that's quite something plug that Dr. Pike. Last test for the copper. That's bled through. No. So here we go again. 28 mil freeze. Good freeze there, I'll give you that. Is it enough? 26 minutes. I can hear all of you saying, oh, just test it, just test it. Do you want me to test it? No, that hasn't gone in yet. So I'm going to wait, that's at 9.9. I'm going to wait for 10. So we've got minus 10, we've got 30 minutes on the clock. I just want a steady 10 and then I'll be happy to give it a go. 31 minutes. There you go, frozen. You're all going to want to ask this, I know you are. So there's your ice plug. Look at the size of that. All the way from there to there. Literally, it's you can see there. Look at that. Test this puppy out. Let's push it all the way out, shall we? There you go. That's what it's created. Yeah. That's quite something. Plug that, Dr. Pipe. This clamp head here, it's all prepped. It just goes straight on. Surface area on the e cap ones. Minus six, two minutes in. Always do that, minus 11. We've got two heads on here. So I'm gonna take this one as the primary one. And we're at six minutes 40. Keep your fingers crossed. Not frozen. Let me just check. Frozen. Eight minutes. That one clearly not because we've rushed through, but eight minutes, you've got a frozen pipe, 15 mil, 10 years technology. Just for the hell of it. Thought. Clearly we don't need to do that one. Okay. Clamp it on. Seems better with that size. This is the one that we want to see. In 15 mil on the E cap. Let's go. Turn it on. 20 degrees. Nice and frozen there. Seven odd minutes here. Let me check this one first, shall we? So, minus 11 down there. Nine minutes on the clock. We've got a decent plug there. I think that that's, well, I'll tell you what, let's try this one again. Yep, frozen. Nine minutes. Now we can just hit the unfrost. 
Yeah. So let's begin with that one first. So first, there we go. Within 10 minutes, frozen, sorry, whatever you want to call it. We're going to test these. Rotate this. Video is all about stopping water, isn't it? So that's pretty much as tight as that's going to get. I'm going to do it on this one as well. And now, guess what we're going to do? Have a lollipop. No, we're going to test what it's like on plastic. bit of kit if you want to stop a, a leak in a hurry. Bit of paste on here. I slip that on there. Would you believe on the day of me testing it's gone. These terminals were just clips before because you're taking this on and off a lot to top it up. Sometimes these loosen up and in this case it's come away so I'm going to show you what I did. What you need to do is clean this post up. Yep because you're going to solder onto this. Next thing you're going to want to do, get a bit of heat shrink on the lines of, before you do anything, put the heat shrink on. Okay, so you just extend these wires and just solder them onto the board. Yeah. For me, this seems to be the only one that's given me a bit of grief, this particular post. So you just heat it, Solder it on. So now I would just heat that and solder it to the post. That's it, pretty much that one there. Heat it up, get it right. Make sure you don't sit on your soldering iron. What's the chances of mine stopping on the day of the test? Push the heat shrink over and you would just heat it up. Just gently. That's it. That shrunk down onto it. That's what I did. I just extended each one. Those are the original positions, and they were a little bit short for me. So I just uh, cut each one one by one, extended. Uh, yes, you've got more joins that way, uh, but they are all soldered. It's been working fine till today, the day of the test. This is 10 years old, this machine, so. Okay, so typically what I do, this is shown 22 degrees. What I do on mine, so what I do on mine is I'll go freeze, but rather than go 15, I don't know if it makes any difference, but I go 22 mil, have done with it. Let's call it 15 minutes here. We've got a bleep going on the machine. 22 mil freeze. Um, and it's just rock solid. The Nerad Jet Sweat, they're performing great. They've held up. Check one. And let's just see if we can freeze it. 27 minutes. Minus 18, it says. Troll that I've opened a few times, so we'll see. Oh, there you go. 27 minutes, you can freeze plastic pipe. So it is possible on these. People say, oh, you can't. Yeah, you can. Just to prove it. It's got to be a bit of fun in this game. And they've held up really well. So it's hell of a... 